Hi all. In this lecture, we will be talking about Simaki XTM documentation. In case you want to know what all Simaki offers, or if you want to learn about any specific Simaki component, you can easily go to Simaki documentation, which is available for free for everyone. So if I go to browser and search for Simaki XTM documentation, click enter. The first link, this is what we will open. Now we are on official Simaki website. If we scroll down, we can see we have got installation, which will help us to install a fully working Simaki instance on our servers or on our local laptop. Release note, what has changed between different versions of Simaki. Scrolling down, Data Hub Design will actually talk about the design and development principles and all the components that are involved in the development of your Simaki data model. Next, once your data model is developed uh, and fully ready in Data Hub Design, we will move to Data Hub Management where we deploy our data model in the data location. Next is SemSQL reference. We briefly talked about this in our previous lectures uh, where we can define the rules based on SemSQL, which is very similar to uh, database SQL. Next is integration where we will define the publishers or the source systems. Uh, and the rules of publishing and consuming data to and from from XTM or Simaki using SQL or REST APIs. Scrolling down, we have used plugins references as well in our enrichers and validation lecture where we have defined a few plugins. And Simaki also offers you the capability to build your own plugin development, which you can use for your further operations. Moving down, we have also got XTM discovery. This is a section where you can bring in data from your data sources and run some checks like profiling or to understand your source data much better before you define your match merge rules or your enrichers and validations. And XTM dashboard is a visual uh, way of presenting your data to your data stewards or business users. This is mainly used for data governance activities. You can define your dashboard, customized dashboards uh, with different widgets based on your needs. Moving down, we also have got upgrade in case you want to move from one version to the latest version, administration, and then talking about Simaki XTM on Azure in case you want to use this image. So we'll quickly open Data Hub Design. Now we have got all these sections here. If you know where you want to go, for example, let's say if we go to data certification, we want to know more about match merge. We can see, we can simply click and we can go through that. Now this is a very good documentation where we'll have multiple examples as well in case you want to understand it in depth. Or if you don't know where your um, component resides, you can simply search that here. Let's say um, enricher. So you will see all the references. If I open the first one, Enrichers, it will take me to the Enrichers and it will be highlighted in the left navigation pane as well. So please go through this whenever you find yourself in a, in a situation where you don't understand what this section means in Simaki XTM, you can always go to this documentation. Thank you.